New details tonight about the deadly stabbing of a retired teacher down in Galveston. Police say 32 year old Gregory Hartnett Jr. stabbed his mother to death. It happened yesterday at a home along Pine Street near Elm Lane. Our Taisha Walker spoke with a former student and a friend of the victim. She joins us live now from Galveston with their reaction. Taisha. Chris, Mrs. Hartnett was a beloved teacher of 33 years, a wife of more than 30 years, and a mother of five. Today, her co-workers and her former students would rather us focus less on what happened inside of the home right behind me yesterday morning to highlight some of her accomplishments and her impact on their lives. Like I remember when I, I registered to Ball High. Oh. It's hard for Cassandra Gutierrez to find the words, words that were once foreign until she met a bilingual ESL teacher at Ball High School in 2006 named Desiree Hartnett. When I came to, to Galveston, it was like no English for me, like zero. I couldn't even say hello or how you doing. Mrs. Hartnett worked at the school for 33 years before retiring in 2020. Gutierrez says Mrs. Hartnett was warm, welcoming, and positive. She will give us a hug and she will be like, it's okay, mija, it's okay. <laughs> Which is why the longtime educator's death is so shocking. The 61-year-old was found dead in her Galveston home yesterday morning with stab wounds. Hartnett's 32-year-old son, Gregory Jr., was arrested this morning and charged with murder and evading arrest. It's been an, an enormous shock uh, for all of us that knew her and loved her. And Jeffrey Pisey is the bilingual ESL district coordinator and a close friend. He says Mrs. Hartnett was beloved. I just hope that her legacy and her memory is, is much more uh, remembered by all the amazing lives that she touched and changed and impacted in our community and not by the difficult way that she her life ended. Ball High School students, both current and past, are planning to have a vigil outside of the high school this Thursday at 8 o'clock. Reporting live in Galveston, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.